In a case of mistaken identity, one that hasn't occurred since 2005 in South Walton, a shark bit a 14-year-old boy and left upper body shark tooth puncture wounds. I spoke with him and his family at the hospital. He was in great spirits. He ended up with 46 stitches. He's going to be fine. South Walton Fire District Beach Safety Director David Vaughn says witnesses saw a fisherman near the shore. And instead of the shark biting the fish on the line... And whipped around and took an exploratory chomp on him. Um, and he made it back in fine, and the, the shark swam off. Although this young man will have an interesting story, statistically, Vaughn says there will be a higher chance of getting injured in the parking lot at the beach than from a shark bite. We don't want people to get into a panic and, and conflate the, you know, inflate the, the, the incident and make it something bigger than it needs to be. South Walton flew double red flags after the incident to make sure there wasn't a lingering shark threat. Patrols, we had law enforcement was of course down there responding and everyone, we just cleared the water for about an hour per protocol to ensure that there was no lingering threat. Being aware while you are in the water is the best way to ensure your safety. They're out there in their element. We aren't the natural prey out here, so in the predator-prey relationship, we're not on the menu here in the Gulf Coast. Vaughn says a good rule of thumb is anytime you are entering into this big body of water behind me, know that sharks do live there. Although it is fairly rare to get bitten or attacked by a shark, but if that does happen, you can contact the lifeguard that is on the beach. In Walton County, I'm Alexia Teropoulos, News 13, Panhandle Strong.